Today we're unboxing a Bluetooth speaker. Now, I just got not too long ago the large variant, large rugged speaker. Got a little dent in it, but um, I wanted something to pair up with the new party mode, or something like JBL's copying with Power Boost or whatever. So I picked up this Groove On. This is the small variant, small rugged speaker, fifteen bucks. So. Does it hold up as well as, like, oh, a speaker for a lot more money? Well, let's find out. So, let's go ahead and put this box aside. And let's go ahead and put the speaker to the side. And, um, hang on. This is a Groove On small rugged speaker. So, they're claiming 10 hours of playtime and IPX7 waterproof. So, same thing for the waterproof rating. A little more, obviously, time that it lasts because it's a bigger boy. But, so. so what they're claiming here, again, party sync modes, they're claiming a 20-watt peak output. And on the big boy, they're claiming a 120-watt peak output. So I'm expecting this to sound a lot worse than this, so... Let's go ahead. This should be USB-C. Unbox this guy. Again, I didn't unbox this. This is full from the factory, so that's kind of cheap. It's kind of packed in there. Suspicious. It's kind of bent. Uh, so here's our instruction manual. And there's our USB-C charging cable. And here's the speaker itself. Wow, that's nice. For 15 bucks, I'm actually pretty surprised so far. Just gonna slap all that junk back in there. Alright. That there. Alright, so. Pretty rugged speaker. Um, so we have power, Bluetooth, party sync, minus plus play pause. This is our front grill. This must come off to just repair it. There's our USB C port and our auxiliary port covered by this nice flap. some residue there. Now we have this thing for the base, I'm guessing. Alright, let's turn it on. Power on. Bluetooth pairing. They have all the same startup modes for all these little speakers. On rugged speaker S and on rugged speaker R. So L. So small, large. I guess they have their unique name. Okay, so I'm not gonna play Word Up by Corn. <laughs> I'm gonna play No Copyright Sounds. Let's do Bass Boosted No Copyright Sounds. So Bass Boosted No Copyright Sounds. I'm not gonna turn it all the way up. Oh, maybe I will. Holy crap. So that's not very. Okay. I didn't mention that this is on the side. Wow, it actually, it's shaking the whole speaker. Oh, let me actually play a song off camera, but this doesn't go very well. Okay guys, the verdict. I am <laughs> really freaking surprised. Holy crap. It doesn't go very well. But the bass cranks like crazy. Probably more than this guy. It's um it shakes really good and it sounds very good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this guy on. Power on. The obviously better one. Bluetooth. Turn the light on. I'm gonna hold it down. There we go. And I'm just gonna hit party Searching sync. for connection. Party sync. Searching for connection. 
Okay, so they're both searching. Now they should just connect right up. I think it's party sync to work, but I'm just going to do a little comparison between these two. So first off, the little one, again, packs quite a bit of a bunch. Another bunch of a punch. Let's do just no copyright music rock. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. I like the rock and ride one. There's that. Let's go ahead and we're going to switch it over to the L. Back to the small. And back to the L. Oh yeah, the large definitely packs more of a punch, but for this little thing, really worth it.